It's time to unlock the power of finding your own speaking style. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to find it and how to become an engaging speaker that people remember. If you like this video, I've got way more tips and strategies on communication and public speaking, and you can check them out in the description below. Let's dive into what will make you a powerful platform communicator in your next presentation, boardroom meeting, or online video. Listen, I used to be a pastor for 18 years, and now I make millions of dollars as a public speaker, and my clients make millions of dollars learning to craft powerful presentations. And I go through these four strategies in order for them to find their own speaking style where they're not sounding like somebody else and they come across as authentic, as engaging, and as informative. So let's dive in. When I first got started, I tried to speak like everybody else, like famous people and gurus. And I looked up, I remember to certain people and I thought, I need to sound exactly like them. I need to do it just like how they do it. And I need to be as professional and even dress like them and have my voice sound like them. And what happened? All I came across as is inauthentic. It wasn't my flow, it wasn't my essence, it wasn't my energy. So these four strategies took me years to learn and now it's what helps my clients find their voice faster. You ready for tip number one? Go speaker shopping. <laughs> what do I mean? I mean, go out on the interwebs and locate speakers who you love. It's like you want to go online shopping, but for speakers. You want to check out YouTube videos and podcasts, check out TED Talks, and locate speakers whose presenting style you love. Another tip here is look at performers and musicians and singers and locate whose style do you love? How do they move on the platform? Who is it that you admire, you emulate, and you really resonate with who's already in the public eye? The next thing you wanna do is choose three of them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of merge those identities according to a process called Alter Ego, which is an incredible book that I'll link up in the description below. And in that book, it identifies how athletes create an alter ego. When they go into the arena of their sport, they create an alter ego. You'll also know that Beyonce has created Sasha Fierce on the platform. It's a different version of her. And I like to say it's like you times two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your top three and merge them into what your alter ego is going to be. Just go with me here. Because the reason why you resonate with them and the reason why you like them and the reason why you think that they're amazing is because there's something inside of you that's mirroring that in them. You wouldn't be able to see that quality in them if you didn't possess it yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw out that powerful speaker from within you by locating your top three speakers you go shopping for. So who is it that you love? Let me know in the comments below. I'll let you know that one of the performers I look up to is Jennifer Lopez. I studied a documentary called Halftime where I watched how she moved inside of a performance and I started to adopt those own moves as I presented on the platform. So who is it that you love? Drop in the comments below. Number two is study their speaking techniques. For public speakers whom you admire, I encourage you to look at their speeches, transcribe them if necessary so that you can study the language patterns. For instance, one of the speakers that I looked up to, and maybe you do too, is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His I Have a Dream speech. So epic. If you study it on YouTube, you can start to see the emotion and the power. And he's using some techniques in there that are just crazy pants awesome. One of the techniques that he used when I studied his speech is anaphora. Anaphora is where you use the same phrase at the beginning of a sentence over and over and over. I have a dream today. I have a dream. I have a dream. This repetitive phrase. Anaphora is used by powerful speakers to create a rhythm, a momentum, emotion, a musicality when they deliver. It is so beautiful to listen to and so moving. When you locate these speakers, start to study what techniques are they using? Like I didn't know what anaphora was. I was like, what is the phrase is being used over and over? I studied, it was anaphora. In the Greek, it means to call back to, to call back to. So they're calling the mind back to this powerful phrase. The cool thing about anaphora is, is people will remember that phrase because of that repetition. Isn't that cool? So study the techniques of the speakers whom you love. Tip number three is understand who you're speaking to. Marketers would call this your target audience or your avatar. It can be difficult sometimes to know what content should I put in this speech so the audience will love it. 
So one of the ways you can deeply understand your audience is to perform something called an ask campaign. An ask campaign is something where you ask one question and you get a bunch of responses and the responses will tell you what should be in your speech. I know, this is so cool. The ask campaign ensures that the content you deliver in your presentation is gonna crush it with that audience. Let me give you some examples. Before I'll give a talk, I'll ask the audience in an email or form or questionnaire, hey, what's your number one challenge trying to get X result? What's your number one challenge trying to lose weight? What's your number one challenge trying to get sales online? What's your number one challenge trying to grow your business. The cool thing about an ask campaign is you're gonna get tons of responses. And all of these responses are like fodder for incredible material. It's showing your audience's objections, their limiting beliefs, where they're getting stuck, and now how you can help them get unstuck. Isn't that awesome? If you'll do an ask campaign before you get up and speak, the audience will feel like, oh my gosh, that was exactly what I needed right now. Now, if you're doing a presentation and you don't have time to do an ask campaign, say on email or sending out a form or a questionnaire, one of the cool things is before you start your talk, you could say, hey, I wanted to do a quick poll of the audience or quick poll of the room and find out what's your number one challenge right now trying to accomplish this objective. Many times I'll just write the responses on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper so that I can start to customize my presentation for the room for that time. The ask campaign is telling me exactly what they want me to talk about right now. Tip number four is have fun. Nothing will help you develop your own style, your own voice, your own personality more than relaxing and just having fun. The more that you're you, the audience can relax and just be them. If they feel like you're trying to be a certain way, or if they feel like you're trying to get them to like you, or if they feel like you need them to respond to you in a certain way, they're gonna get uptight. They're gonna be on edge, like what does she or he need me to be doing right now? I need to be responding. No, just let release them, detach, divorce from the outcome, and you relax and have fun. This way you'll be able to be more spontaneous in your presentation. You'll be able to adapt, you'll be able to have fun, you'll be able to joke with the audience. There'll be more room for cool things to happen if you're just relaxing and just having fun. I love this quote from Thelonious Monk that says, a genius is the one most like himself. Your genius will come out the more that you are just yourself. So if you want to discover your speaking style, where you don't sound like somebody else, but you sound like you times two, check out the resources down in the description below where I can help improve your communication, your public speaking, and grow your business. I'll see you in the next video.